Pirates are not the only invaders taking over Tampa Bay this month. Vikings are hiking in Hillsborough County. Dana McDonald and uh, Viking himself, Brent Fagans, are here to tell us how you can join in on this historical fun. I don't even know if I should introduce you like that anymore based on the education <laughs> that I just got, which we'll get to in a second. First, Dana, let's explain how popular this is and why you wanted to be able to hike with the Vikings. So Hillsborough County Parks Department has our annual hiking spree. It's the third year and we highlight 25 trails throughout the county all throughout it's free to participate and we wanted to kind of add a little something fun this yeah. year so our viking group actually uh they helped us with our promo video the very first year and from there we just realized how popular it was and how fun um over in medard park is where they were um living let's yep. let's face it it's where we do our practices <laughs> for our fighting and stuff so the the partnership just kind of happened really naturally and it was a great way to show off the park and also to educate people. To educate people. Which you are doing for me because we call you a Viking. Viking you say is an action, it's a verb. It's it's you you go on a Viking, kind of like a raid, but it's 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 a Viking. The 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 root of the word comes from the Isle of Vic, which is where it's supposed the first Vikings came from. Okay, so where, what would you classify yourself then? Um, since... I would be a Norse Scandinavian. Okay, hiking with a Viking, much easier yeah. to say. I'm not going <laughs> to lie on that one. So, you know, we talked about now the relationship between the two of you, but when people do go on this hike, so you touched a little bit on the education components. What else can people expect and why hiking with a Viking is so much better than hiking alone? Well, it's, it's a, a very immersive, 100% interactive environment, you know, and you're outside. So... A lot of the people that have come to it are putting down their screens. That's number one mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. I want them to pick up the screen after the hike and do some research and learn something outside of what education that, that we're doing. But when they're there, I didn't see anybody with their phone out That's doing awesome. anything other than paying attention <laughs> yeah. to what was going on. And enjoying the outdoors. Exactly. Yes. You know, we were asking too about like the lineage in Florida, because of course, when we do think of Tampa Bay, you know, you think of the pirates, of you think of the Indians, you think of, you know, Native Americans, those groups are the ones, not necessarily Vikings come to mind. Well, Explain why this was still really important and why it does share a little bit about what we think is part of Florida's history. Well, I know you were saying earlier that there is no proof that they weren't here. Un <laughs> it's unsubstantiated. I like that. But there, they, they did, I'm probably going to get railed for this, discover the new world. So, and the St. Lawrence Seaway, if you go into the Great Lakes mm -hmm. and the St. Lawrence, you can go pretty much anywhere into the depths of the United States. It's a short land, land portage and they've been known to portage their ships and all of their stuff up to 100 miles. And it's a lot less than that from the last Great Lake to the Mississippi. Hmm, I like that. And the water flows south. Think about it, right? <laughs> Think about it. Well, a lot of people are already, we talked about how popular, how enjoying this is. The first time you announced it this season, every spot was booked up almost. Oh, That's yeah. why we yes. have more dates, oh, right? Yes, we have four more dates this year and they can be found on hcflgov.net backslash hiking spree, which has the information about the hiking spree as well as hiking with the Viking. Um, we have four different dates. There are wait lists if it does get booked up. So put your name on the list if you are looking for a certain date, keep looking. It's a great event and we're looking to do more. Um, we really enjoy showing off the parks, showing off the nature and it. we discuss um, the, the different elements of the park, invasive species, what natural Florida um, environment is around us, along with the <laughs> the Viking information. There, it's you, you kind of get tricked into all of the education that you're yeah. doing because you're having so much fun. <laughs> I like this. The whole hiking spree just sounds fabulous too. And then to be able to have the touch that we just discussed. Thank you to the both of you coming. I'm, I'm kind of sad to see this interview over because I've had so much fun saying hiking with a Viking <laughs> for the past two days. But most importantly, we shared the website, Thank you for joining the us The hikes today. have not all happened, so you can, can you, 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 you may continue to say hiking with a bike. I can still say you're right. You're right. Just because our interview is over and does not mean I can say that. hopefully this is just the beginning of, of a great long partnership. I like it. I like it. Again, there are the dates and information on your screen.